What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here, and today we're going to be looking at modding Darkest Dungeon obtained via Game Pass. Yes, I already know I did the Steam one, but there are some small differences, and I'd like to make sure the Game Pass people feel included, especially since back when I first did the Steam video, a lot of people on Game Pass were asking me how to mod this, and at that time, you couldn't. Game Pass finally got their act together and made this moddable, so let's go ahead and actually mod this thing. All right, as far as enabling mods on Darkest Dungeon, as far as enabling mods on Darkest Dungeon goes, it's pretty easy. You click here inside of your Xbox app, enable mods. Got it. You're going to have some prompts the first time. I've already obviously done that. However, my video crashed halfway through modding it. Then you'll go ahead and click on the opens mods folder. And Darkest Dungeon is one of those great, great games that actually has a mods folder. God bless it. By the way, any developers out there, if you're making a game and you want to increase, you know, user interaction, you want it to last a while, one, make it moddable, two, give them a mods folder, make it easy for them to mod it. Anyway, so you come into the mods folder and it should be blank just like this, just with a preview icon. Now, the go out and get mods, Nexus mod has some with a primary focus on adult mods, but this is one of those that is really kicked off over on Steam. There are so many Steam mods for this that it is ridiculous. This is an inventory expansion light, which is a mod I recommended in a previous video. It is a great mod. But because it's on Steam, and if you don't own this game on Steam, you can't just snag it. So instead, we're going to have to copy the URL for this mod. We're going to come over to the Steam Workshop downloader, just paste it in, and then click download here. Now, this mod is going to take a little bit to download because it's a relatively big mod. It's 57 megabytes. I already have it downloaded. So let me go ahead and go out to my downloads. So it's right here, which is the inventory expansion light raw. Now I come in here and I'm just going to create a new folder. And it's going to be inventory underscore expansion underscore light. You can go with whatever you want, but you want to make the folder where it's noticeable. So once you have that folder created and you're out in your downloads, you're just going to go ahead and open up the download for the inventory expansion, grab it all, and paste it over. Mod files text actually gives a breakdown of all the different items it's going to load into the mod. So this is critical that you don't edit this. Because it's got, it's basically like a list of the contents and the locations. That's how it handles the routing of the mod. And this is going to take a little bit because this is a beefy mod at... All right, once you have that, go ahead and just come out to Darkest Dungeon. And we're gonna click play. All right, once you're inside the game itself, go ahead and go into campaign. Go ahead and go ahead and begin a new one if you haven't yet or whatever. This is just gonna be an easy one and you'll notice this hammer over on the right. So this little download here is for your DLC. So you can select those, but this little hammer over on the right is for your mods and we're gonna go ahead and add the inventory expansion light to it. Then we're going to go ahead and run the game. Now, to confirm it's working, I'm actually going to have to speed run through this first part here. Just because one of the easiest ways to tell this mod's working is it adds the ability for you to have stacks of up to 64 for your provisions. So once I run through this spot here, I can easily get to the provision spots and then go ahead and check how much I've got available. All right, we're just gonna confirm working very quickly by doing the whole embark. These corrupted lambs. 
the Warrens. Provision. And if you look over there, that's very different than what normally is. That's 24 slots available. And we can overstack our provisions. Nope, we can't overstack the provisions. I thought this provision was supposed to go to 40, 24, but we do have the available 24 slots of inventory. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 4. So we've got 24 versus a normal, I want to say it's like 18. So you've got a lot more inventory slots available. But that is how you mark Darkest Dungeon. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.